Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Esther here. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great, safe and well during this pandemic. And today, as you can see, we are going to be starting chapter two polynomials intro to exercise 2.3. Okay, so this is a very interesting chapter. I mean, a very interesting part to this chapter. And uh, firstly, we are going to be learning division of a polynomial with another polynomial okay so how do we divide of course last year um, in eighth standard you would have learned a little bit like how do we divide a polynomial by another polynomial okay so let's uh, see what this is now before we move on to uh, how to divide a polynomial with another, another polynomial let's see how to divide numbers first okay so let's consider two numbers two numbers let's say 15 and 6 so how do you divide this? Suppose I have to divide it like this, 15 by 6. Let's do actual division. Usually for saving time, what we will do? We will simply divide it like this, 5 and 2 by, you know, the 3 table. Yeah, 5 by 2 we will do. But suppose I have to divide. I'm not going to use this. I'm actually going to do division. Okay, so um, let's see how to do it. So 6 twos are, we'll get 12 here. And then 3, we'll get 3 is remained. If I have to write this to uh, 3 by 6, okay, if I have to write this in mixed fraction, how will I write it? That's my question to you. Of course, you all know this. I hope you all are knowing it. We will write it as, with in which form? In which form? Quotient remainder by divisor. This is the form, right? Right, so that's the form we're going to use. Your quotient is two, remainder is three by what is your divisor? Six. Correct. This D is for divisor. Okay, divisor. So, what can we say from this? Can I write fifteen as six into two plus three from this division? I'm saying from this division, can I write fifteen as six into two? That is, I'm multiplying the divisor with the quotient and I'm adding my remainder, 3. Correct? So, this will give you what? 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. Can I write it in this form? Now, what, have, what am I trying to tell from this? I'm trying to tell you that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So this form, right, this dividend is equal to uh, divisor into quotient plus remainder is carried on to the later part of this chapter. Okay, this is very important as this is what we will be doing henceforth while we are, you know, um, solving some sums, right? This will come there. That time you will understand why this form is coming. And we are going to be using this form while, you know, dividing a polynomial with another polynomial. Okay. So let's see how to divide a polynomial with an another polynomial. Yeah. All are ready to do it? Absolutely fine. Okay. So let's take an example. Usually, how do we divide a polynomial with another polynomial? Let's take an example. 2x cubed plus x squared plus x divided by x okay usually last year and all you would have learned it like this right firstly we will uh, write it in the standard form which is 2x cube plus x square plus x by x this is how we usually write it right correct this is the standard form from this symbol to you know this sign whatever yeah so now usually last year in chapter 14 factorization you would have learned that we will split the term like this so that means we will apply this uh, divisor to each of these terms. So this will become 2x cubed by x plus x squared. The sign will remain the same. x squared by x plus x by x, right? This is how you will do it. So what will this become? 2x cubed divided by x. If you cancel this out, this will become what? 2x squared, correct? So this will become 2x squared plus x square and x, if you cancel, it will become x. Why? Because we're bringing this one up and uh, it will become x raised to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 
x. Okay, so I hope you are aware of this, right? I hope so you're aware of this. <laughs> so if you're not aware of this, now it's your time to learn. Okay, and then you will get x here. Now these two will get cancelled with each other, you will get the answer as 1. This is how you have usually been doing it, right? Let's take another example of this. Let's take another example of this. 3x square plus x minus 1. Same method, okay? Divided by x plus 1. So, okay, let's not do this in this method. Let's take another easier example. Now let's do this with y terms, okay? So suppose I say y cube plus y square plus 2y divided by y, okay? So y cube plus y square plus 2y divided by y. So this will be y square plus y plus 2. Let me know in the comments below if you know, knew how to do this without me explaining, okay? Let me explain how I got this. I split it for each term, bought this one up, 3 minus 1 equals to 2, okay? Then I bought this one again for this term. So uh, y raised to 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 2 by 2y uh, by y. So 2y by y, y, y will get cancelled and you'll get your answer as 2 here, right? So that's how I got this term. Now let's see this one, which I just wrote here. Now only we're actually getting into our new method of division. We don't usually use this. I mean, we can use this, but generally, for, at least for this chapter, uh, we are going to be using a different method, okay? So the previous one uh, was how we were doing it before, but now, this is how we will be doing it henceforth, okay? So now 3x square plus x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Now you saw that while we divided 15 by 6, I brought it to the standard form like this, right? That's the same thing which you're going to do here. So you're going to bring it to the standard form here, 3x square plus x minus 1. And this x plus 1 will come here, x plus 1. So now we've got... Um, it in our standard form like how this is correct so now how do we divide it what is the next step pay attention very very important very important okay now which ink do i pick okay so now what you should do is always remember in the dividend whatever first term is there no divide it with the first term of the divisor so what is your first step? Just a second. But it's, yeah, so what is your first step? Divide first term of dividend dividend with first term of divisor. Okay, this is the first step. First one, okay, first step. For each step, I'll write in different ink so that you will, you know, understand it better. Divide first term of dividend with first term of divisor. That means what? I will divide 3x squared by x. That's literally what we mean here in this case, right? So what will it be? You bring this x up. This will be 2 minus 1. This will be 3x raised to 1. So this is nothing but 3x, right? See, uh, now I'm explaining it to you with these steps. In exam, you don't, don't need to write these steps. You just need to directly solve it. So now for your understanding, I'm writing it with statements and I'm doing it step by step. Next example, what I will do, I will not write the statements, but I will explain how as a beginner, you need to actually solve it so that it will be easier for you. Okay. So this is the explanation part. Now we got three X here. Now this will be our first term in the quotient. Okay, this will be the first term in the quotient. So that means after you finish dividing the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor, put your answer here in the quotient. Okay, that's the first step. What's your second step? Second step, multiply, multiply the quotient, multiply the quotient, with 
first term of divisor and then with second term of divisor if you want you can write this down if you're like new to this right i mean if they haven't taught at school or you're finding it difficult you can make notes i mean you can write down these steps because this will remain the same throughout every division that we do through this method okay so what is written here multiply the quotient with the first term of divisor and then with second term of divisor that means here what you can see you can see one term two terms so two terms you can see so this quotient 3x multiplied with each of these that means what 3x into 1 i mean 3 sorry 3x into x yeah first term plus repeat this and repeat this and plus 3x into 1 3x into 1 which is equal to what 3x square plus 3x understood till here clear is it clear till here cool so you got it till here after we finish solving all the steps i will again explain okay don't worry okay so now we have got 3x square plus 3x let me just write what we did here but hold on just a sec yeah so now let's just write the same thing here so 3x square plus x minus 1 and then x plus 1 and then we've got in our quotient 3x correct what did i do so okay plus x minus 1 x plus 1 right that's what we have got so far and then after that we multiplied it right so 3x into x is equal to 3x square and then 3x into 1 is 3x right so now when i write it here here 3x square plus 3x how did this plus sign come because i repeated same sign remember if it is minus here suppose it is x minus 1 that means this will become 3x square minus 3x okay repeat the exact same sign clear cool okay so till here you understood right now what will we do after this okay it's just not erasing it's okay we will continue with this itself so now next step is bring this beneath this 3x square minus 3x okay 3x square minus 3x so we are going to subtract now so your main sign here is subtraction sign okay subtraction sign so now since we have a subtraction sign here our plus sign here will change to minus minus will become plus how how did it become minus how did it become plus because here we have a minus sign so if there is a minus sign here the signs which are here will get a change suppose here next to 3x square there was a minus sign then it will become plus then plus will become minus so that is the concept if there is a minus sign always remember plus will become minus minus will become plus why because of the presence of a subtraction sign okay so what is 3x square minus 3x square zero so these two will get cancelled you will get zero here then x plus 3x which will give you 4x right 4x it's just gone crazy i guess okay so i finished um, i mean like making things more neater so it's the same thing and by the way uh, what is up before right here actually there was a minus sign here so that was wrong actually you have to put it plus while explaining i told you right how to do the sign change and my mistake i put it there anyways uh, now we have come back here so this will become zero right now x minus 3x what is x minus 3x minus 2x correct minus 2x right so minus 2x next what do you need to do bring down the minus 1 okay bring down the minus 1 now same thing we are going to do what minus 2x divided by x that means you need to divide this first term here 
okay zero is nothing right so zero doesn't make any difference so this minus 2x divided with the first term of the divisor okay yeah so next this will be minus 2 right now bring that minus 2 here so now what did we do when uh, in a starting we first divided 3x square by x. We got our term as 3x and we took it to the quotient, right? Similarly, we are dividing minus 2x here with first term of the divisor and putting it to the quotient, okay? Now, minus 2, we need to multiply with both the terms of the divisor. Same thing what we did for 3x square, okay? So, minus 2 into x plus will not come how see say minus minus into plus this is simple thing minus minus into minus is equal to plus hey this is what you learned in sixth standard i guess yes sixth or sixth or seventh i guess yeah so minus two into x is minus two x minus into plus will come minus and two into one is two okay so now what you need to do next bring it here minus 2x minus 2 bring it here minus 2x minus 2 okay so now again we're going to be subtracting so minus will become plus minus will become plus so then we will get zero here these two will get cancelled minus 2 plus 2 uh, sorry minus 1 plus 2 yeah it will give us what plus 1 so what is the remainder here remainder is equal to one and what is your quotient equal to three x minus two again i will explain don't worry i will explain it again okay so i'll explain it again so basically what we did first okay so what we did first we first took three x square plus x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Standard form first we took, standard form first we took. Then after that, first term of the dividend, first term of the dividend, we divided it with the first term of the divisor. Okay, first term of the divisor, we divided it. Okay, and we got 3x. Next, what we took, uh, uh, next we took our answer here, that is 3x as our quotient, we took it to the quotient, then we multiplied it with the first term of the divisor and with the second term of the divisor. That means I multiplied my quotient with all the terms of my divisor, correct? To get what? 3x square plus 3x. Next, what we did, we took that 3x square plus 3x. We took that 3x square plus 3x here and we brought it down here to subtract it. Sign change happened. 3x square minus 3x square, we got 0. x minus 3x, we got minus 2x. Same steps we followed for minus 2x also. So sorry. Oh my god. It got erased. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm like really, really sorry. Um, there's been like, you know, this problem actually, uh, when I'm writing with the pen, right? I by mistake, press a button on the pen and that erases all the ink. I'm really sorry for this, you know, like problem, but I'll try to fix it, okay? So please cooperate with me till then. So where was I? Um, I explained what happened, yeah? So here sign change happened, plus became, minus my uh so yeah plus become became minus and again plus became minus we got minus 2x minus 1 correct yeah and after the same step we followed for minus 2x so minus 2x by x we took we got minus 2 we put that minus 2 to the quotient then we multiplied it with the two terms or with all the terms of the divisor excuse me so this will be minus 2x minus one sorry minus two 
yeah because plus into minus is minus then we got this answer we brought it down here so minus 2x minus 2 we uh, again um, minus became plus minus became plus to so that we will get our remainder as one so we got our remainder remainder as one and quotient quotient as 3x minus 2 clear so we got it till here right understood we will see an, another example don't worry we will see another example so now again what we saw before here this this one this whole thing we saw right that's what we're going to bring up here so what is that dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder right so what is a dividend 3x square plus x minus 1 equals to what is our divisor x plus 1 into quotient is 3x square it's sorry 3x minus 2 plus 1 if we solve this out we will get our dividend okay so if p of x and g of x are two polynomials such that the degree of the polynomial uh, i mean degree of p of x is greater than degree of g of x and g of x is not equal to zero then we can find polynomials q of x and r of x such that p of x is equal to g of x into uh, q of x plus r of x what did i actually read i know you people are like what are you reading out as the i don't understand it don't worry i will explain what i said see firstly let me tell you p of x g of x r of x and q of x what are these p of x is nothing but our dividend here g of x is our divisor here r of x is r of x is our remainder here and q of x is our quotient here i will write down the statement which i just read out for you very important statement okay very important statement if p of x and g of x are two polynomials okay p of s uh, p s means polynomials okay to save time i'm just quickly writing such that degree of p of x look look at this sign is greater than okay this sign means this sign means greater than greater than degree of g of x and g of x does not equal to zero then we can find we can find polynomials what q of x and r of x such that p of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x same thing guys same thing what i just wrote here same thing only so basically let me explain the statement to you what are they trying to tell us if p of x that is our dividend here okay and g of x that is our divisor here are two polynomials these two are polynomials okay our dividend and divisor are two polynomials such that the degree of p of x what is p of x our dividend the degree of the dividend should be greater than greater than the degree of the divisor you know what is the degree the highest uh, power basically so then uh, therefore the degree of the dividend must be greater than the degree of the divisor and our divisor should not be equal to zero g of x is nothing but our divisor it should not be equal to zero so then we can find out the polynomials q of x that is our quotient and r of x that is our remainder such that our dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder clear same formula here we substituted with these values simple simple and simple so simple it is right if our dividend 
and divisor are two polynomials such that the degree of the dividend is greater than the degree of the divisor and the divisor is not equal to zero, then we can find out the polynomials our, that is our quotient and remainder such that dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So I, I completely, you know, ignored uh, these, you know, P of X, G of X, R of X, Q of X, and I completely substituted it with these values. That's what I exactly did. I know my slide is pretty dirty, but still, okay. I hope that is clear. Okay, cool. Understood. Great. So now, uh, actually, we were supposed to see a remainder theorem, but before we go to this, let me share with you another example of that division thing. I know all of you are like, please explain with another example. And yes, in this example, I'm going to be helping you out. Uh, you know, like basically I'm going to be telling you how you should divide, you know, like in exam, how you can write or while in your notebook, at least for a while, how you can write. Okay. Since you're a beginner, I will tell you exactly how to write. Okay. And I'll be writing a little bit small here since I want everything to fit in one slide. Okay. Cool. So now let me just write it in the standard form here. X cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Standard form done. Now, you also should write this in your notebook like this, okay? First term of the div uh, dividend, x cube divided by first term of the divisor, x equals to x square, right? x square. So then what you should do? Second thing, second step what? x square into x plus x square into 1, which is x cube, x cube plus x square, right? Then what we need to do? We need to bring it down, x cube plus x square. Now next is what? Sign change, plus will become minus, plus will become minus. So these two will get cancelled, you will get 0. Third step is 3x square minus x square, which will be 2x square and this is plus 2x square. Remember the sign, right? Sign is very important. That's why many of us make a mistake, lose marks, though we know the concept so, so well. I believe me, even I have done this. Seriously, I've done so much of sign mistakes and you know, in my class, I'll get it wrong and I'll be like, oh, I should have just like been careful about that sign, man, just because of that one thing. I'll be like that. So you don't want to be like that, right? So that's why I'm saying be careful. Now we see, now here we are having four terms in our dividend, right? Don't bring down this plus one. Keep this plus one. I ask you to wait. Plus one, please wait. I will bring you down later, okay? We're going to bring plus 3x now. One by one, let us solve, okay? Now, what is our fourth step? 2x square by x, which will give you 2x. So plus 2x here. Next fifth step is 2x into x and 2x into 1. This will be 2x square and this is 2x. So actually with this sign, this will be 2x square plus 2x. Where did I get the plus sign from? From right here, from the dividend basically. I mean not dividend, divisor, sorry. Now 2x square plus 2x. What is the next step? Come on. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. Plus will become minus, plus will become minus, zero. And then uh, what is our sixth step? 3x minus 2x give you x. So this will be x. Now, finally, plus one, please come down. Okay. So what is our seventh step here? x by x will give you one. So plus one, eighth step is one into x plus one into one, which will give you x plus one, correct? So bring this x plus one here. So again, what? Plus will become minus, plus will become minus. So what's your remainder? Remainder is equal to, remainder is equal to zero. Quotient is equal to, x square plus 2x plus 1. Clear? Understood? Right? Now, if you want to write the same statements which we wrote before, that is like 
here like whatever we wrote here you can of course write it in your notebook okay so now understood what we did first term of the dividend divide with first term of the divisor put that in the quotient then that uh, quotient whatever you got this here it is x square we divided it we didn't divide it we multiplied it with the both the terms of the divisor brought it down here and then we did not did i mean brought it down here and we did all our plus minus thingy we got 2x square plus 3x S same thing okay same thing 2x square by x we got 2x 2x into x plus 2x into 1 we got 2x square plus 2x sign change we next got it as x as the you know ne uh, next answer then we got plus down plus 1 down then again x divided by x x in uh, so there will be 1 so 1 into x plus 1 into 1 x plus 1 sign change we got a remainder as 0 and the quotient as x square plus 2x plus 1 so we are done clear so we will see more sums in exercise 2.3 by the way this sum this example which i gave you right this is actually a first problem of exercise 2.3 first me okay we will again do it anyways so there are more examples given there and um, we are going to see a much more easier method in remainder theorem that's what we are going to be doing next now okay this is a you know harder one uh, meaning you're going in a long division method basically but this remainder theorem is going to make your life so easy but that doesn't mean you shouldn't learn this uh, what is this this long division method that doesn't mean you should know both because sometimes in exam they can ask you, you know, use the long division method to divide it. That time if you don't practice and you don't know means what you will do. If it's a three mark question, three mark gone just like that. So you need to do both and you need to be thorough with the remainder theorem. I'm sure when I teach you this, you'll be like, so easier. I can do this in my dreams also, in my sleep also. Come and ask me, you know, I will give you the right answer. That confident you will be, I'm sure. Okay. But this division thing, right, this will take some time. So you need to practice more and more. And um, at the end of this chapter, we'll be, uh, you know, seeing many worksheets, okay? So I'm training you a lot, okay? Uh, since, you know, the boards are coming next year, you have your 10th standard, right? And I want you all to do well, whoever's watching it. And you are also the same age of mine, okay? I'm also, right now, I'm uh, 14 years old. You are also 13, 14 or 15 right now, right? So I want all of you to do well. And I've always taught you all with love and, you know, passion and with a lot of interest. And I've always taught you as your uh, teachers teach children, like their students, right? I've always taught you like that. And I love teaching you all, okay? And if you have any doubts, guys, you want me to re-explain anything, you want me to, you know, give you extra questions, more practice, let me know in the comments below. I'll always be there to do it for you, okay? So... Next, let us move on now. <laughs> We're quite diverting. Let's move on now to the remainder theorem. Let's start. So you see here, this is the statement of remainder theorem. Okay. So we're starting with what is remainder theorem. Okay. So the statement goes like, let P of X be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to one and let A be any real number. If P of X is divided by the linear polynomial X minus A, then the remainder of P of A. So, do you understand anything from this statement? Look, I'll explain it step by step. They're saying that let P of X be any polynomial. So, actually, you know, what we studied before, we studied division of a polynomial with another polynomial, correct? But now... Here we are seeing division of a polynomial with another polynomial in a simpler way. Here our P of X is the dividend, okay? Dividend. And our dividend needs to be of degree greater than or equal to 1. Greater than or equal to 1. Yeah. Okay, so now here they're saying let A be any real number. Let it be any real number. Now in this 
a polynomial or when our dividend is div being divided by a linear polynomial what is a linear polynomial which has the degree as one degree as one right degree as one so now our p of x is being divided by a linear polynomial x minus a so this is what our divisor correct and here x minus a here a is a real number real number real number means it could be rational or irrational then the remainder of p of e so let's see what does this statement actually mean when we come to practicals okay this is like a theory statement let's see that with a example so that we will understand it okay so let's take an example so what example we'll take okay let's say p of x is equal to x raised to 4 plus x cubed minus 2x square plus x plus 1. Here our p of x is what? Dividend. Okay. And now let's say I'm dividing it with x minus 1. Instead of going through this division method which we saw here, instead of going through this one, we are taking a simpler one now. What we are going to do is, we are actually going to equate this x minus 1 is equal to 0. You remember when we used to uh, find out the 0 of the polynomial or we had to find out the value of x when x minus 4 is there. We had to find out what's the value of x. What we used to do, we used to equate x minus 4 is equal to 0, x is equal to 4 and we used to substitute that in p of x. Remember? We used to do that previously, right? Same thing here also. In our, we have to take our divisor and then equate it to 0. What will you get? x is equal to 1. Correct, right? So, then what we have to do? We have to substitute this value in p of x. That means we need to substitute x as what? 1. So, this will be 1 raised to 4 plus 1 cube minus 2. Okay. 2 into 1 square plus 1 plus 1. This will be 1 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 1. So when we add uh, 1 plus 1, we will get 2, right? 1 plus 1, we will get 2. And then these two will get cancelled, we'll get 2. Now this final answer is nothing but our remainder. Can you believe this? We've got a remainder. If they ask you to find out the remainder using remainder theorem, easy if they haven't mentioned uh, through which method you have to find out the remainder if you have to save your time of course you can go through this method right so easy what we did we took our divisor equated it to zero found out the value of x and then we substituted that value of x in this polynomial and we got our remainder now do you actually believe that this is the uh, actual remainder let's check it out through the long division method I will prove it to you. Fine. So, x raised to 4 plus x cube minus 2x square plus x plus 1. Okay. And now this is divided by x minus 1. Right. So, now x, x raised to 4 by x is equal to x cube. Then x cube into x is x raised to 4 minus x cube see since i am used to doing this i'm directly doing it if you if you're not so like experience like me know then please 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 go through you know by writing it on this side writing it on this side go through that method okay now here what will happen plus will become minus minus will become plus so this will become zero x uh, x cube plus x cube will give you 2x cube right then we'll bring down minus 2x square then 2x cube by x will give you 2x square, right? Plus 2x square. So 2x square into x is 2x cube. 2x square into minus 1 is minus 2x square, right? So now plus will become minus, minus will become plus. This will become 0. So now we have to start all over again by bringing x plus one down we are bringing one here why because now this has become zero now what can we do with zero so you need to bring down both these digits down so x plus one bring it down 
then what will happen x uh, x by x you will get one one into x is x and then um, what is this one into minus one uh, will give you minus one yeah so now plus will become minus minus will become plus this will become zero plus two what's the remainder so sorry so sorry okay you saw the division right i'm so sorry it got erased the remainder was two you saw the division okay right so we found out that the remainder is two there we got came back thank god okay so we got a remainder as two right so you found out that here let me highlight it for you then you can feel it better yeah so here you saw that your remainder is two here also you saw that your remainder is two you you got the same answer right both sides you got the same answer didn't you get it yes you got it so what can you say that you can go through this method which is, which is time saving remainder theorem is a time saving method what do you have to do you first need to write p of x is equal to this 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 that's your standard form basically this is your dividend nothing what your dividend divided by your divisor which is nothing but x minus 1 equate your divisor to 0 x is equal to 1 you will get whatever your x value is substitute it in this polynomial you will get your remainder easy right quite easy isn't it so that's why i told you right you will love this method you will find it so easy and you'll be like why didn't you tell this method in the beginning itself <laughs> yeah so i wanted it, uh, you to go through the hard one get the hard one right and then you will be an expert in the hard one and then finally you'll be expert in the easy one also okay so guys i guess that's it for this video this video is session one right sorry yeah this video is session one this is session or part one part one of intro to exercise 2.3 of intro to exercise 2.3 okay this is session or part session one or part one of intro to exercise 2.3 what did we learn in this video we learned how to divide a polynomial with another polynomial through long division method long division method division method and we saw a couple of examples right we saw a couple of examples as well as we saw a very easy method to divide a polynomial with another polynomial that is remainder theorem so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it so much and you found it very useful and if you have any doubts or you still didn't understand few things let me know in the comments down below i will help you out or at least i will try to help you out fine so we finish with the first part now um i think as of now uh, we, we are done with part one let's do part two which is in the next session that is session two session or part to intro to exercise 2.3 okay so actually you're speaking this session or part two of this uh you know intro to exercise 2.3 is not part of your 2.3 you can say that it's you know partially part of 2.4 but anyways i want to cover it up now itself okay i want to just cover it up so uh okay just don't stress out though uh we will or i'll do one thing okay okay just leave it fit just just leave it we, uh, forget what i told you <laughs> sorry okay forget what i told you this is the only one and only intro to exercise 2.3 next we don't have a session or part two to in uh, to exercise 2.4 i mean 2.3 we will be meeting with this intro to exercise 2.4 after we finish exercise 2.3 i'm so sorry for confusing you but in the next session right next session we will be starting with exercise 2.3 only okay we will do uh, the factorization of polynomials after that so so sorry for the confusion but thank you so much for coping up with me and sometimes with my errors and all of that thank you so much for being patient supportive and loving me so much and as well as i also love all of you if you have any doubt or you want more questions more you know uh, worksheets or something like that let me know definitely after this chapter we'll be solving a couple of 
uh, extra questions, a huge number of extra questions. Okay, so cheer up. If you're getting things wrong, you're not able to understand. It's okay. It's totally fine. You will get it as you solve more. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. See you all in the next video. Bye for now.